Now, when we want to understand blockchain technology, what I usually say to people is the best way to understand it is to look backwards. Because when we look back, we're able to understand our future in a much better way. Now, when we go back and we understand where does money actually come from, we realize that money started as a system of barter exchange, where people would exchange goods and services between one another. As time went by, people became more intelligent. In this specific scenario, a king decided, in my kingdom, I want people to pay me. And the method of payment that they will use will be copper. People started paying him in copper in that kingdom. But over time, he realized that copper was not efficient as it eroded and had many different problems. They then evolved and said, let's, let's start using silver as a method of payment. Let's move from silver, let's use gold. Pa methods of payment kept on changing as time went by because human beings became smarter and wanted better, more efficient ways of doing things. We then came across paper money. Now, when paper money came out, there were a lot of people that said very distinct and amazing things. Now, you can imagine going back to the time where everybody says, we're going to stop using gold as a measure of value and we're going to start using paper. People said, this will never fly. People said, this will never work. People said, this can be burnt down by fire. People said, this is impractical. Some even said, this will never, ever work. I'm keeping my gold. Now, can you imagine those people that collected paper money in that day and age where they are today? They were the people that started the banks and started the financial system and became very wealthy over time because they understood that as time goes by, human beings will continue to look for better and more efficient ways of doing things. It's human nature. Now, come 2008, paper money experienced a very big problem that most of us are aware because of Zimbabwe, our neighboring country where financial systems collapsed. Now, if you don't understand how financial systems work, I wouldn't want to confuse you, but basically what happened is banks were inflating the value of things, and due to that, in the United States of America, the property market, including many other markets, collapsed, meaning that people were left without homes, people were left without pensions, people were left in very dire situations because of the financial system. So over time, paper money, which was invented a very long time ago, did not evolve and become better. And that system proved to be wrong or failed certain people. For example, Zimbabwe. Now, there was a man called Satoshi Nakamoto who, after losing much of what he had in 2008, decided, how do we fix the financial system that we have today? How do we make it better? How do we stop banks from manipulating the system? And how do we actually ensure that trust can actually happen? That when people send money somewhere, they know that it's actually backed by something and there's value behind it. And this was the birth of Bitcoin.